Pisces, welcome. When your heart spread for the first half of October, first to the 15th, we'll call it, using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. Thank you for joining me here in Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> Trying to get this done. I still have some shades. Not It's pretty nice, kind of perfect. But this is for uh, whoever's on your mind, who's in your heart, eight card read. Use a little bit of astrology mixed in with this astrologer. Look at the first six cards as kind of sinistry interaction and get some advice and uh, look at how that's going and uh, then advice relationship as a whole and outcome, which I think is kind of more like the composite. So, uh, pretty simple. Uh, in the name of love and light, so it serves the highest good, masculine spirit to give us some guidance here and help as deep as possible. I'd like to do more just to describe this situation I'm asking spirit uh, give us some depth here thank you five of, um, knight of cups and you're looking into the reading so wow um, you are someone this is where you're at in this position uh, mind and heart is at around love and relationships I read it and um, kind of look at it as a baseline a little bit separate from how you feel about your person but you would be someone that's interested in love, emotional, uh, romantic. And I believe like Mars directly, like, I mean, you literally could be on a dating site. Um, you're just, you're not someone that's sitting around saying, uh, I'm really never getting married again. I really don't care about relationships. I'm really happy to be alone and throwing up the face. But you're not that person. You're the person throwing up like romantic mims of couples holding hands and hugging in the fall park with the colorful leaves and stuff like that okay so <clears throat> I take uh, take that seriously and see uh, how, oh my god how your person is they are also looking into the reading so we have uh, what we have here is a perfect match you know, it could go either way I have to reverse them so you see they're looking at each other so you're coming in king of cup uh, knight of cups they're coming in knight of pentacles and um very interesting. I just think they're an earth sign, Pisces, and you're, they're also coming in looking for love. Um, it wouldn't be as directly. It's, it's sitting here looking at them. It's amazing. You know, you guys have, saw each other across the bar, the crowded room, whatever, classroom, and you, uh, you know, they're just earth sign, you know, Taurus and Virgo and Capricorn energy gotta be the sun moon rising and venus something that's particularly look at the venus energy for them um you know um water and earth go together so well it's kind of what i get there's just a water earth vibe um and so you're digging it you know they might come across to you i think you're similar age uh both of you might kind of be a little bit younger uh, if not younger, younger, you're young enough to be romantic and want to go out and take a walk. You won't just put on your uh, dating page, I, I'd like to take walks on the beach. You actually do take walks on the beach or uh, go for runs and stuff. And maybe you would do that together, you know. Um, I just kind of want to stop there. I kind of read the overall energy uh, on the bottom of the deck. I'll take that reversed. I usually don't do reverses, but... I read it lightly. <clears throat> you know, you may both be coming from a past where there was heartache, but I don't see, uh, I don't feel either of you carrying a lot of baggage into this. It feels really clean, which is nice. So the way you're feeling about them, judgment. So this is you with judgment you just met, and how you're feeling about them is... Um, you're maybe questioning yourself, like, seriously, I want to marry them, but I just met them. What's wrong with me? Something about yourself and the way you're feeling about them. And you're feeling like you're being called up. Like, I'm thinking of the word vocation. I'm not Catholic, but in Catholicism, you know, they call marriage the vocation. And, you know, it's like a calling. And that's what judgment is always like to me, a calling. We're being called by something. We, something comes... And we feel that pull, and we're like, we're being called to take this new position, to move into this new area, or to research something, shift our focus, our interest, and it just pulls at us, and then we usually get into it. Well, this is about your person. So uh, it's like maybe with the Knight of Cups, you really wanted love, 
And now we really got it because the Knight of Pentacles is solid as fuck. This person will not let you down. They are sincere. They are substantial. And maybe you're kind of like, whoa, um, this is like serious. And this got serious like that. Like you just, you kind of knew. Like you're basically like, I'm going down a road that's going to lead to something big. Like you knew right out of the shoot that this was, this was some kind of karmic connection going on. Holy shit, and they got justice. I'd never seen cards matching so perfectly, and so far. I mean, we're only halfway. But my God, man, judgment and justice together, and their feeling about you. I mean, I, it's kind of the same thing, what I just said. Only now it's how they're feeling about you. Um, but with them, there could be some kind of actual, um, maybe this means a marriage is involved. Um, you guys made this quick there because about you, they're thinking like, I need to deal with this marriage. And she's got a very big sword as well as uh, scales here um, because they would, this major arcana, how you're feeling about each other. I mean, you've got the major feels and they would be wanting to do something. It could be labor and energy too, of course, but more about them uh, wanting to bring justice to a situation um, with you. And I think it's very much them in their own way realizing if they don't use the word karmic and all of that, they're telling themselves, this is important. This person is amazing. And this I need to really take this seriously. Um, and it could be inspiring them to deal with some other relationship where it may be, maybe it's not divorce, but it's something maybe they feel like they need to detach from and uh, so they, they can be available to you what I'm seeing so far. Now, <clears throat> let's see. This is advice from Spirit, Nine of Swords for you. So the judgment card up there, the way you're feeling towards them, it is a little bit of a pause. But I don't think it's bad because you just start in a relationship and you're feeling immediately like you want to marry them, like they're your person and all this. And you're giving yourself pause there with judgment to think about it in a very serious way. But with this being advice from spirit, um, it means something really has to be dealt with, something uh, that you're not uh, thought. Like there's something in this judgment. Why, why do you feel like you need to make sure that this is the one? Um, there's something going on. It very most likely it is not even about them. It's something about yourself. It's some fear, you know, um, like maybe the last time you had the feeling that they were the one, they slept with your brother or sister or best friend or something. Um, and that that kind of vibe to it. Um, I get the feeling like you guys, uh, you, you're both like uh, wanting love, you know, but like when you sort of find it, you're both like realizing that you weren't really ready for it because you maybe got some major life things. Like maybe they got to get divorced first. I mean, not really first anymore, but they got to deal with something, you know, substantial there. And it's like, they're kind of like, you know, damn, you know, I didn't really think this through. Um, I kind of just figured we'd go on a few dates and, you know, now it's like I'm in love. Um, boom, justice for them. Same thing with you. Um, I really wanted some dates, maybe some sexy time, and I'm ready to get out there and boom, you're in love and your judgment's drawn up. And so we'll see. Let me see what their advice from spirits. Okay, it makes a lot of sense to me. Seven of Wands. So their advice is defending the castle, righteous defense of themselves. So there may be something they need to kind of work out. There's some wands or actions with their ex, with their current, with their something uh, going on there. I'm not reading anything of fit and nefarious. It's life other than both being knights, even with the Knight of Pentacles, little quick. Um, wanting to get somehow in the game, responding, and then really not realizing. Uh, it's not like players or anything falling in love. It's just kind of not really realizing the, the uh, machinations that would be involved in, in trying to uh, come together with someone, uh, you know, in reality. Um, and for you, it's more about emotional issues. You come in with the Knight of Cups, an emotional cup here, Pisces. So it's kind of about resolving, not kind of, it is about <laughs> resolving uh, 
issues um, around. You know, and they're all in your head. You, I think you can see the ghost there. A uh, great card here, the illuminated tarot deck. Um, it really shows how it's haunting you and it's in your head. And it's, it's not something that's insurmountable. It's just something that's making you have to deal with it. Probably because, you know, I don't think you really expected to have that strong feeling. And when, when that strong feeling hits you, I totally relate. Now it's because it's, it's not that bad if you're not loved. I've had old relationships. I didn't even realize that until it was over. I was protecting myself by getting with someone that I really wasn't in love with. Thought I was. It seemed like love. It felt like it. But I realized, no, she said, no, no, no. And then I realized I did that unconsciously, on purpose, because that person, and when it went down, it didn't even really hurt me because I didn't really love them. And it took me a minute, a couple of times, until I kind of realized, boy, my unconscious is good. <laughs> You know, um, so I think it's kind of like that to maybe help you. It's like, you know, now that your blood in the game, now you've got your, you know, flesh in the game, you're playing for keeps, there's no net, you're flying, you're doing the trapeze without a net. Now it's like real and you're realizing that it's kind of scary. So you want to look at why. Okay, this is the outcome. This is the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. I mean, so Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is uh, in the core of the relationship. Um, things are happening fast with this relationship. Um, wands are actions. And this is in between you dealing with your emotional stuff and then having to take actions to deal with their probably mostly physical stuff. Um, it's very interesting. They come in with the coins, you know, and you come in with water, but um, it, both of you are going to have a lot going on with each other. That's going to be very busy, and it needs to be, and the goal here is for both of you to slay all of your burdens together. You know, both of you need to reach the village and put this down and be done with it, and then uh, go into the village and get your happy home together, that kind of energy. It does imply some time, um, and it's probably going to be a lot of effort, you know, um, things that have to be done between you guys. Not bad. This is not bad. Just basically, you guys, I think this is you guys just working out the mechanics, you know, of what it means to be a couple now, mm -hmm. to be together, maybe to be married. You know, it's a whole new, like a whole new world. You have to put together a whole new world because it's your together world, you know. You're in your little separate worlds. Now you're in this together world, and it's like uh, Ten of Wands. It's uh, going to be a little bit difficult, but I really like King of Pentacles for the outcome here, Pisces. Um, <clears throat> I think the relationship's going to swing a little bit their way uh, because it's going to be very solid. If you're going to be happy with it, it's going to. If you look at the judgment here in the Nine of Swords, you just look at how similar they look and the colors and everything here. Um, <clears throat> That's tough energy um, to be in either way. Um, and it's like when you make this judgment to be in this relationship, kind of accept this karmic contract that's going on here, um, it's just going to make you all kinds of more stable. And But your person's used to being stable. So it's really, it's uh, it, they, they, would, they would require a King of Pentacles relationship, your person, ultimately, you know? That's kind of what they would, not King of Pentacles, but... Uh, a solid pinnacle type relationship and which the king represents here so it also means together you guys are stronger than you are apart just guessing it's a little cliche but maybe you bring to their lives an emotional element a depth a spiritual a depth a psychological depth that maybe they wouldn't otherwise have and they uh, bring to your life in the most basic way you know a uh, physical security and um, this nine of swords, they're going to help you because they're all you. They're, you know, they're, they're, you're, they're never going to cheat on you. They're never going to lie to you. They're not going to fuck you over, you know. And that's what's scary and hard to believe. And that's what you're going to get from them. And something you don't have. Judgment, nine of swords, that's all going to be in the past. Thank you, guys.